All right, the Cleveland Cavaliers have made a selection. There's no funny business going on. My team knows what they're doing. They're not messing around. Ochai Abaji, lottery pick, 14th overall to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He worked out for them. Uh, we know that the, the, the whole story coming in, he's 22 years old. Is he a finished product? No, he's not a finished product. Gary, you know that as good as I do. Uh, and now he heads to Cleveland. What do you think of this pick? Love it. A plus, And I love what Cleveland is doing. I mean, you never know in the post LeBron era what that's going to look like. And they have just really stockpiled it with interesting young pieces. And this is the latest addition to that. Like Ocha Abaji, he was just one of the best players in the country. Uh, athletic wing can switch and guard different guys and shot above 40% from three point range. It's the best player on the best team that won the national championship. That doesn't always guarantee NBA success, but it's a decent place to start. I, I thought Abaji should have gone in the top 10. I think he's going to be one of the 10 best players from this draft. Cleveland did the right thing here. The job that Kobe Altman is doing reconstructing the Cavs is really, really impressive because he's already got his future stars in, in Mobley and Garland, and now he's got a potentially elite role player who is NBA ready right now. We've talked about how he's been developed under Bill Self. He's ready to defend at an NBA level. He can space the floor and make shots. He's also a high-level athlete with an NBA ready body. So you are getting a rotation player from day one to plug into what is already a very talented young court with a super bright future ahead of them. And I think the big biggest decision for the Cleveland Cavaliers is what do you do with my guy, Colin Sexton, especially with this move drafting Obaji. You know, is there a place for Colin in this rotation? Um, I don't think so. I think he's probably going to find a new home because, you know, he's a, in my opinion, a, a, a future all-star. But Kobe Altman, unbelievable job at reconstructing this entire roster, convinced Kevin Love to stay around. He provided that veteran presence. They catapulted themselves, now I believe, into a, a higher playoff seed type of an opportunity in the Eastern Conference. Uh, Darius Garland, they'll have to make a decision on whether he gets a max extension uh, this offseason. I like that they drafted a winner. This is a 22-year-old kid. He's not a finished product. Uh, 6'5", 215 pounds. He can play a role position for the Cavaliers with Evan Mobley in, in that rotation. And look, I think if you had if you had told him or if you had told Bill Self coming out of high school that he'd be a lottery pick, I don't know that – I think you'd look at and say you're crazy because he wasn't heavily recruited. I don't know that you think maybe this kid's going to be a, a lottery pick. He really developed at Kansas. Well, remember, he was supposed to redshirt his freshman season. They didn't play him till deep in the season and only because of injuries. And right from the jump, he was, like, impactful. Like, even in his freshman year, it became a topic of conversation. Like, is this Kansas' best NBA prospect? Now, it took him a while to get to this point, but he got to this point. And if you talk to Bill Self, Norm Roberts, any of his coaches at Kansas, they say nothing but great things. Like, off the court, this guy is about as perfect as they come in terms of work ethic, getting along with people, no real red flags. Coaching staff loved him. Teammates loved him. The basketball stuff any of us can see. I'm a big fan of this pick. I love this pick, too. Go Cleveland Cavaliers as they get Ochai Abaji. He made a three-pointer in 53 straight games. So, uh, all right, welcome Ochai Abaji uh, to the flats and to wherever you want to hang out in downtown Cleveland. You should be celebrating about that pick. I like this Cleveland Cavaliers team. And, hey, your team perhaps is, is on the clock coming up here. Uh, who's the best available? A.J. Griffin still on the board. Ty Ty Washington, uh, Malachi Branham, E.J. Liddell out of Ohio State, and Mark Williams, uh, the big man out of Duke, still sitting on the board. The Charlotte Hornets on the clock right now at the 15th uh, position here in the first round. We'll be back after this here on CBS Sports HQ as uh, we are almost halfway through the first round of the 22 NBA Draft. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.